What's up, anglers? How's it going? What's going on? My name is Mike, local angler and host of the Get Made Show, Trout Made Angler Company. We are back for another episode. I'm excited to be back. Sorry it took long to get another one out there. Just got a lot of things going on right now, but it's on my mind. Things are in the works. I got my notebook right here, and I got about three episodes um, kind of like outlined, so um, you just saw the last one. We did the unboxing of the Shimano Stratic. So we got one of our reels down, packed, ready. I, I spooled it up uh, with that Phoenix uh, braid, three pound pink. So I'm pretty confident. We got one set up, and that's going to be going on. Got it right here. The Phoenix Dragonfly. Okay. And I, uh, I won this in a, a fishing event in, on Instagram. And uh, if you want to know what fishing event, go ahead and hit me up. I'll let you know. But I was definitely blessed for with, with the Mirage. And I needed, um, actually needed, and I was in the market for one more trout rod. I had that American spirit, but I actually passed that along to my cousin. So so he can have a, a mini jig rod. And then, we, you know, we've always been rocking that, that Phoenix elixir. So today... That's what we're doing today, anglers. We are looking at, if you're looking for a new rod, if you've always wanted a Phoenix, you know, I think that's like, you know, they're, they're great. To me, they're great trout rods. Um, I've only, I've, I've had, well, we'll get into it, but I've broken a Phoenix Elixir once or twice. This is actually my third generation Phoenix Elixir. Shout out to my homie Tug Life. Steve, thank you. Bro, he actually, I broke that one last year at Wolford and uh, the last one at Wolford. And, you know, Steve was kind enough to to pass on, share the stoke with me and get me um, what, I, you know, if you guys don't know, I named my I named my Phoenix Elixir Bet Midler. And that's a funny story. Maybe we could get into that another time. But Bet Midler is the Phoenix Elixir and Bet Midler, as you all know. Um, excuse me. Let me get let me get a little sip of water. <laughs> All right, that's a little bit better for me. Cool. So, Bet Midler Phoenix Elixir. You know, it's been good to me. Uh, um, you know, so we'll get into the details of that. But today, we're gonna do our first rod review, like official rod review. Last week was, was our official first unboxing. Um, this is our first rod reveal, uh, review, and uh, reveal as well, because we're gonna reveal some details that might make help you make a decision on what rod to buy if you want to go with the Phoenix. Now, there's some good and some bad. There's word on the streets that you know is good or bad. It's it's just like any other product out there in the market. Okay, and. You know, it's it's um, right now. There's really not. There is a, a an American-made trout rod, but um, with Semper fish rods, and and I'm thinking about maybe it's just tough because they're only selling blanks. I think right now, and um, so the pli the price of a blank is the price of a, a Phoenix, um, and then you still got to get it wrapped, and that's you know. So I, I think it's more. Right now, definitely serves the the more aficionado of the trout rods, you know, finesse game. So if you're aficionado, you know, and I think I might just get another custom rod. I I, I had a cu custom rod, um, a a, a, a O to my Navy days and my aviation ordnance. So um, I'm actually gonna be it's it's over here, but I'm actually be using that for my bait and weight rod. Um, the tip broke. I had you know long story there, of course, but the tip broke. And um, Ray, homie, fix it for me. So that rod has some great action on it, but I think I'm just going to want to use it for bait and weight uh, situation. So I'll be using three setups this, this year for trout season, and um, we're going to go over uh, two of them. All right, so let's get into the specs first, the specs of the Phoenix Elixir. All right, cool. So the Phoenix Elixir specs ultralight 7'6, two to six pound line. Your lure weight 
one and thirty second to one quarter ounce, and it's a fast action. Okay, so it's a little stiffer tip. Okay, a little stiffer tip, more fast of an action. Um, softer tip, you got moderate, moderate, fast. So there's different action levels to that. It's it's there's charts and um, maybe I could put do something on it, another video, kind of. Um, be able to tell the action tips, the types, and, and that's going to help with your application. So, you know, speaking of application, the Phoenix Elixir, you know, what kind of applications, you know, definitely a mini jig rod. It's, it's very versatile rod because it's light, it's sensitive, but it has a backbone. And that's what I kind of love about it. So you can throw mini jigs up to larger spoons, um, quarter ounce spoons, you know, so it's, it's, and with the stiff action, it's good for, I think, like crank baits, jerk baits, where you need to like have that action and, that, and to have those pops, you know. So the Phoenix Elixir is a great overall around versatile rod uh, for trout. You know, if, if you, if you want to go, you know, all in on, on one rod that you can have different applications and you're that type of angler, this is definitely the rod for you. Um, I love it. I love it. I did not love the telescopic version. That was my first version. I just figured, you know, the space in that fishing cabinet, um, in my fishing cabinet I have, that it it was an eight foot or nine foot or eight foot and it telescopic down to like seven, six, right? So I didn't have enough room in my fishing cabinet. So I got the telescopic, not thinking, oh, just get the, it is what it is. You know, I was new, I wanted a Phoenix rod. That's what happened. Well, the, the the guides on the telescopic actually sitting when it when you when you um, shorten the rod right. So the rod goes inside the rod, and the, the 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 first you know guide was sitting right on top of that. So every time I you know and that's the design. There's nothing stopping it. It was just ding ding ding. So during one whole Dixon Derby the whole weekend using that rod. By the end of it, the, the guide was loose within the, the wrap and it was spinning around. You know, truth be told, Phoenix said, hey, that's that's on you. I'm like, nah, that's your design. You know, I have to take this down. And I'm not slamming it. It's just resting on it. So it was their design. Went with the 7.6 one piece after that with the warranty. And then that's the one I broke at Wolford. And then this is the third generation Bet Midler. Let me see. Oh, there it is. Oh, see? There it is. Third generation Bet Midler Phoenix Elixir. Okay, let me see which else I know. Yeah, love it. Over to Big Fish. Handles Big Fish great. Keeps them pinned. This last season, last year, I've been... Um, I think the rod was definitely key to landing some big fish for me this last season. And I'm stoked going into it this SoCal season because this is going to be, the Phoenix Elixir is going to be my um, spoon, um, cast master, um, mini crank, jerk bait rod. That's what I'm going to be using it to apply for applied to on the water for trout this uh, SoCal season. And I think I'm going to pair it. I'm in the market still. Again, you know, on IG, Daiwa, Shimano. I have, we did the unboxing, Shimano Stratic, CI4+. Plus, and I think I want to stick with Daiwa. Um, I made my mind up. I'm looking around, talking to some anglers online. Thank you so much for your, your you guys reaching out um, with all your input, positive input. You know, so it was great, you know, but... um. I got to go with, I really love Daiwa. I love the Legalis that I use with the Phoenix Elixir. And I think um, one or two steps more uh, top shelf reel, I think um, I deserve that. I haven't, still have not invested in a high quality top of the shelf reel. So I want to do that. And I think it's going to be the Daiwa Ballistic. I'm saying it now. It's going to be the Daiwa Ballistic with the Phoenix Elixir. Okay. But the Shimano Stratic. Is going to be going on the dragonfly. Woo! All right. I'm going to be going on the dragonfly. The dragonfly. Let's take a look at the specs. Okay. Ultralight. This one's eight foot, one to seven pound line, and the same lure weight rating one to 32nd ounce, 
to one quarter ounce weights, lures, okay? The application, uh, mini jigs, small panther martins, rooster tails, small cast masters. You know, the action on this is uh, fast moderate, I believe. So it has a softer, it has a softer tip, right? It has a softer tip than the elixir, okay? So, you're, you know, it's, it's, you can't carry that much weight, you know? It's not going to be the it's just not going to work out you know you have a lot of risk breaking your tip the your lure flying off snapping off you know what i mean so um the dragonfly small stuff okay small stuff as far as my experience and the review of the dragonfly i actually had the opportunity to go out to uh Cuyamaca here in San Diego and test it out and we got limits and with the dragonfly, first time out, okay, I had it paired with the Abu Garcia Cardinal uh, that was passed on to me. I, man, tested it, and we found the fish, keyed in on exactly what they were biting. And Dallas, uh, my boy Dallas, made Dallas and, and myself, we, 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 were, we, we went 9 for 10. Okay, I, I hit limits, and not only limits, but you're wondering, I know, Mike, hey, the elixir handles big fish. We know. We we know that. But I, I might want something something smaller, something more fun. And let me tell you, the elixir, uh, the uh, mirage. That one's coming, maybe. Um, the dragonfly. I landed a almost seven pounder. First trophy of the season. It's on the IG. Actually, let me just let me play that video clip right now. I only played a part of it on IG. Um, but I wasn't filming. It was just kind of a day for me. I just wanted to fill out the rod. I should have been filming, but I wasn't, you know, sometimes I just like fishing for myself. So, but I put my phone out on this fight, um, vertical style. So here, take a look at what first time out dragonfly, my Phoenix dragonfly, um, you know, what kind of damage it did with that, uh, that trophy trout first one of the season. Take a look. Good one on. Got a real good one on. Breaking in that new dragonfly. How down far down in the, in the tail whip. <sighs> Getting made. But that's the one that flashed. Ooh. Look at the jig still hanging in his body. Ready this time. He ready this time.
there it is. There it is, baby. Ooh. 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 Get made. Get made. Ooh, Ooh that's a toad. That's a toad. Look at that tennis racket net handling this beast. Let's take a look. Oh, oh man. All right, anglers, so that was the first trophy trout of the, the 2021 season, SoCal season. I'm stoked. Um, it was a great fight on that dragonfly, okay? So if you're worried about big fish on, on, a, on a lighter rod, um, don't worry. It's going to handle it. It's going to feel great. <laughs> it actually felt great. I mean, I felt the power. It was just way more sensitive than the elixir. I mean, I feel power in the elixir, but I felt the power on my side on elixir when I got a trout pinned. You know what I mean? Um, but with the dragonfly, it, it almost felt like an even fight. You know, so it was, but it's still, I was still able to, you know, even with the, the different action and the softer tip, I was still able to keep that big trout pinned. You know, so let's wrap up. With the summary of both, okay? So let's go with the let's go with the dragonfly first, all right? All right. So we got the Phoenix Dragonfly. All right. Specs eight foot. This one is eight foot. One to seven pound test. Lure weight, one thirty second, one quarter ounce for ya. Alright. Mini jigs, small Panther Martins, rooster tails, small stuff. Cast masters, small stuff. Alright. Um, you could probably throw some mini cranks with this for sure. You know, you could throw jerk baits with this for sure, but like jerk baits, you need that little stiffer so you get that pop, pop, that action. You know, so um, and it's it's stiffer tip means you know uh, uh, you know a, a more sure hook set. It's gonna help more with the hook set. That's what I found out with the dragonfly. My first couple fish I missed because I'm used to like fly fishing where you just gotta. You know, when you're you're 45 and you just go, boom, 12 o'clock with your hook set, like, boom, straight up 12 o'clock from 45, right? And that's how I hold my rod is, is, is parallel to the horizon. And, boom, with the elixir, I'm just able to do that little lift hook set, you know, um, with the dragonfly. I did have to, you know, kind of little, uh, get, get a little bit more, uh, uh, on it, you know. So just be aware of that because of the softer tip, but I loved it. Um... You know, it, it's sensitive. Uh, the flex, the bendo, when you got a fish on, it's it's amazing. It looks great. Um, uh, strong, finesse, soft. You know, it can handle big fish. It looks great. It's beautiful. You got, you know, nice burl wood seats, you know, but all that. It's nice. I love the dragonfly. I'm in love. I'm in love. And lastly, we got Bette Midler. AKA, well, Bet Miller is my Phoenix Elixir, but the Phoenix Elixir, okay? 7.6, this one, two to six pounds test, lure weight, 132nd to one quarter ounce weights, all right? Fast action, um, application, mini jigs, definitely, most definitely, large spoons, large baits, large lures, jerk baits, things of that nature. Um, very versatile rod, okay? I love it. Um, big fish handles it, keeps them pinned, keeps those trophies pinned for sure. Um, the Phoenix Elixir was actually inspired by fly rods and I can see that. I, I didn't know that. And just researching the rod on Phoenix website, that's what it said. And I kind of like, okay, yeah, it is. It's like a five weight almost, you know, so that's pretty cool. And I can see you know, where they're, they're coming from with that. So that's awesome. It even makes it more special to me 
that I love fly fishing, and this rod's inspired by fly fishing. So, um, yeah, also got the burl wood real seat right here. It's beautiful, you know. So cork handles, it's awesome. It's good rod, good rod, great rod. I love Bent Miller. I love my Bent Miller. We got to name the dragonfly. All right, and I don't want no like hot rod names or like dude names. Like it's like cars, you know, and no, 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 no disrespect, but a cars and a boat, you know, is always um, named after a woman, just because women, Mother Earth, women protect us. Mother Earth protects us, so we want, you know, a real, not just to protect us, but you know, catch us fish. You know, we want our boat to catch fish. We want our car to ride fast and safe and all that. You know, so. We got to name the dragonfly, and I'm sure, you know, like a dog, you get a dog, you just want to see how they play around, what kind of character they got, right? And uh, see what pops up in the life, and that's how, you know, uh, Bette Miller happened. So maybe we'll get into that story. You know what, let's just, I'm going to give you the Bette Miller story real quick, all right? And we're going to close this Get Me Show out, because I think I got everything, all my notes. Um, oh, you know what, let's just say, one thing about the dragonfly, it's a little, uh, one of their... Phoenix's um, new advanced carbon fiber and resin, okay? Um, so, yeah, that's, a, that's another note. That's pretty cool. But other than that, let's get into this Bette Miller story real quick, okay? Hold on. Let's, let's get into this Bette Miller story. So, <clears throat> went to Vegas. Um, you know, my fiance Alex, she wanted to go see Celine Dion. Okay, Celine Dion, world-renowned, famous, beautiful voice um, singer. She spent a lot of uh, time in Vegas doing a show at Caesar's Palace. So she was closing out her, her, her showcase there. So Alex, you know, fiance, she wanted to go. Um, and I just wanted to go along for the ride. So I just, while she was in the show, we went for the night. She was in the show. I just kind of hung out wandered around and gambled a little bit. Um, so, you know, she went to go see C Celine Dion and, you know, I actually kind of taking it back, <clears throat> you know, even further than that, it's, it's, I always had a saying, a motto, a chip in a chair. I used to play a lot of poker, um, when I was in the Navy recruiting in Ventura, Oxnard area and, uh, played a lot of poker. With my boy Rick. Rick, if you're watching, what's up? How's it going, my man? Yeah. We were recruiters there, and we played a lot of poker. We went up to Chumash Casino, Santa Barbara. And, you know, a chip in a chair. You know, if you play poker, you know that saying. And that all that means is, and this goes into some, you know, a lot of what made is, you know, a chip in a chair. You know, uh, getting made, you know. And, and, and that saying is like, oh, if, if you just have one chip, right, and you have a chair, you could play ball, okay? So, man, you don't need these Phoenix rods, okay? You don't need these Phoenix rods. If you got an old ugly stick, man, that's your chip. The lake is your chair. You got a chip in a chair. You got a chance at a trophy trout, just like everybody else on the bank, everybody else on the boat. It doesn't matter, okay? By all means, get made. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A chip in a chair, right? So... That's all you need is a chip and a chair. So that was my saying. <clears throat> then I'm in Vegas. Fast forward, back fast forward. I'm in Vegas with the fiance. She's in the show. I'm just like, I'm just, I think I'm playing roulette. You know, throw a hundo down, get the $5 chips. And one of the chips is Bette Midler. Right? Bette Midler. I don't know why, but she's old school, man. You know, and, and I don't know why I like her, but she's old school. You know, for the boys, that army movie. That's the one I kind of, you know, reminisce, resonated with me growing up. You know, um, she's in that, uh, the the kids Halloween where the three witches, she's one of the witches, Bette Midler, Goldie Hawn, and I forget who else. But uh, she's famous, you know. Uh, she also sings and all that too, you know. But I don't know why, but I just named the elixir Bette Midler because she was on that chip. So after that, I was like, man, all you need is a chip and a chair. And all I needed was my elixir. And that's what I've been rocking pretty much the last couple years, anglers. One rod, one reel. Not that guy on YouTube either. 
But um, chip in the chair. I hope this information about these two rods um, that I kind of laid out for you is, uh, you know, enough. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below. Also, comment below is it, what your preference is. If it's a whole different rod or if you've used the Elixir, if you use the, dra dra uh, the Dragonfly or even the Mirage, drop them in the comments below, anglers. I think we're going to wrap it up right there. Um, I'm going to be going on a trip, so I'm going to get editing on these uh, last two videos and podcasts. And um, I appreciate you guys so much. Um, and real quick, I just want to—I just want to say, while I'm saying I'm appreciating you, I say that a lot. But October marks three years for Trout Made Angler Company when when I first posted on Instagram. Um, so it's been three years. Whew, man, I don't want to get emotional right now, but. <clears throat> I'm just going to keep rolling on this camera, mic. I'm going to keep rolling. Personally, it's been a really tough three years for me. But you guys, it what helps me, motivates me to keep coming back, doing this, having fun doing this. And it's been a ride for sure. And I would love to just keep talking about it and keep dropping some nuggets, keep dropping some stories because I want to get into that. And it's something. Th there's some things that I just want to share with you guys. It might help somebody. But if you don't know, I, I, I suffer from depression. So sometimes I go deep in. You know, but it's it's my my boys that, that call me up and share the stoke. Um, it's you anglers that hit the DMs and share the stoke. That check up on me. What the? Who does that? Good people. So good people attracts good people, and I want to be around good people. So here's to three years, anglers. Here's to three years getting made. And here's to three years and more and beyond. SoCal, Eastern Sierra. And beyond. That's what we do here at Trout Made Angry Company. Thank you so much for the three years, for everything else, for what's coming up. Like I said, I got a lot of things in the work. Just hang tight. I want to appreciate you guys. Just keep a lookout. It's happening soon. My name is Mike. This is the Get Made Show. I'm a local angler and your host. Thank you for tuning in. Hit subscribe if you haven't. Drop a comment. Drop a like. It helps out this channel more than you know. Thank you, anglers. My name is Mike again. Once again, last time, and I'm out.